welcome to how to style a toga wig requested so what you'll need is a brush um i just use a wet brush um i know everyone says like not to use your hair brush when like working on wigs but it's like i do it it's okay like it's fine like as long as you like take the wig hair out like it's it's fine okay i will also be using two just normal combs um i might not use this one i haven't for my other wigs but um if you can tell both of them start bigger and then get a lot thinner at the bottom so not sure what type of combs they are but i'm sure just any type of comb will work also you will need alligator clips or just normal clips like this to just like kind of section it out and a crimper just crimp it like that's like yeah if you don't have a crimper that's completely okay um alternatives for that could be just a straightener um i'll do a video on how to straighten it but get the crimping like style um from it sometime in the future and, or just using a normal brush and back brushing sorry it cut me off but or just using a simple brush um and just like back brushing it slash teasing it like um back brushing it and teasing it is just brushing up i don't know why i did that but yeah that can get the fluffy like texture um yeah and then i'm not sure if i'm going to be using this but last but not least i'll last but not least i have this um just frizz ease leave-in conditioner um not sure what the brand is but it says john frieda um i'm not sure if i'll be using this but i might be using it it'll depend on what the final like look of the wig looks like I might use it if it's like too fluffy and I don't like it. I may use it to just ease it down a bit, but yeah. Okay, hang on, I forgot to mention this. You also need a wig stand, but if you're like me and you don't have one and currently don't have the money to afford one, just here's what I do. So it may sound weird, but I just use this lamp. Okay, I take the wig and I just put it on. It's easy as that. But that might not work for everyone, so um, if you have a wig, like a wig stand, I would go ahead and use that. Um, just any type of lamp like that would work. Um, maybe use like a ball or a stuffed animal, something like that. Okay, so so I just one thing on. Back when this is heated up. Okay, now that my crimper is heated up, um, I'm just gonna go in and start. Um, actually, first, oh, you can't see me. Now you can, never mind. Um, first I'm going to go in and comb it, so. Okay, got it all brushed out. It's nice and soft and smooth, not tangled. So now I'm going to crimp it. Also, I forgot to mention always, and I mean always, do a test strip, okay? I personally have never ruined a wig because I'm not doing a test strip, but I've seen many videos of people who have ruined, melted, etc wigs because they haven't done a test strip also if you still have the link of the wig you bought you can check you can check if it's heat resistant and then check what heat level to use um on my crimper i just use the highest heat because it goes faster but that doesn't work for everyone or for every wig I just realized I'm kind of stupid. I kind of forgot to section it. 
so I'm actually going to start in the back and not do the sides. Um, so, okay. Let me see. Okay. Oh, so, so just take your wig and like section the top layer from the bottom layer. Like that, because you see where there's like, you can like see that part, like section it like there. Okay, so here's the difference between a crimped wig, this little piece, and then a non-crimped wig. Like, yeah, I don't know if you can even tell, but... Okay, so now that I've crimped it, I'm gonna brush it out, but first I'll like show you guys. So here's the wig crimped. It's all nice and fluffy. So now I'll brush it out. Okay, so now that I've got the base wig done, there's really nothing you can like do with the buns besides like try to make them more like messy. So I'm gonna go put this on and I'll be back and show you guys how it looks. I like it, okay. Um, yeah, no, personally, I really like it. Um, um, all I have to say, I just, I like it. Um, the bangs could be thicker, like, maybe I'll cut the bangs more sometime, but, yeah, I like it. Um, comment if you guys want me to do any more wig tutorials.